Hello, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going to be going over how to add receiver profiles to a data collector running Survey Pro. We will go over how to set up multiple profiles for one receiver to be used as a base, rover, and net rover. After we have set up a receiver profile, we will then go over how to connect to an existing receiver profile. In today's Tech Talk, we will be using a Ranger data collector running Survey Pro and an Epic 50 GNSS receiver. From the main screen of Survey Pro, we will click on the receiver icon on the right side of the screen. In order to add a GNSS receiver, it must be in GNSS mode. To do this, just click on GNSS towards the bottom of the screen. When you click the icon, you will be able to see the receivers that have already been added to this data collector. There is also a Manage Instruments line, which we will click on. This will bring us to the Receiver Profile home screen. From here, we will click Add Receiver Profile. Make sure your receiver is on and within the Bluetooth range. If you are connecting to a Spectra Precision receiver, click Start under the Auto Configure tab. It will then scan for nearby Bluetooth receivers. Select the receiver you want to add and click Next. You will then be asked to select how you will want your receiver profile set up. Because we will be setting this receiver up for all three profiles, we can select All and click Finish. It will take us back to the initial receiver profile screen. The three, pre the three profiles for that receiver are now displayed. The profile name starts with the receiver type followed by the last four of the serial number. We can now edit the individual profiles. We will start by clicking the settings icon by the base profile. This will then bring up different settings for this profile which you can adjust depending on how you will be doing your survey. The first screen allows you to change your corrections type. By clicking modem on the top of the screen, it will bring you to a screen to adjust radio settings or hook up to another data source. You can then scroll through the other menus. The reset menu allows you to turn off the ability to receive signals or reset the receiver. Tap the green checkbox on the top of the screen to finish that setup. The network rover setup is similar to the base setup. The only difference from that menu is that you can set up your receiver to automatically connect to the network that you will be receiving your corrections from. The rover profile is also very similar to the last two. From the modem screen, you will be able to select your incoming radio frequency. The receiver profiles have the ability to be exported to another data collector in order to save time on setup. You will click the export button and select which receivers you want to export. After selecting the receivers, you will create a file name and select where to store the file, which can then be imported to another data collector. Now that we have created these different receiver profiles, we can very simply connect to that specific receiver again. Select the receiver icon and select the profile you would like to connect to. 
We can also adjust the settings from the profile that we created by clicking the receiver icon, clicking manage instruments, and clicking the settings icon beside the receiver. From here you can easily adjust the settings we went through earlier. In conclusion, we have gone over how to add a receiver profile to Survey Pro and set those profiles up as a base, rover, and network rover. We have also shown how to connect back to that receiver and edit the settings of that receiver profile. That concludes our Tech Talk on Receiver Profiles. We hope you found this beneficial and join us next time. Feel free to browse our collection of other helpful videos as well. Thank you.